If you read the outside of this book, you know that I've been counseling athletes at the University of Michigan for over 30 years. Along the way, I've had the privilege of helping a few special athletes you've heard of. Think of Tom Brady, Michael Phelps, Desmond Howard, and a lot more athletes who have done things just as great or greater, though with maybe a little less widespread public fanfare. To put myself in this position, helping student-athletes, coaches, counselors, entrepreneurs, Fortune 100 companies, as well as addicts and criminals, to become the world's greatest experts on themselves so that they could become the best versions of themselves. I had to start by doing this for myself. When I was a very young man of 14 years, I had this uncle who would come by the house just to harass me. When I was eight, I thought he was amusing and delightful. By 14, I couldn't stand him. He came by one day and he was picking on me as usual poking and prodding and doing everything he could to get on my last nerve. It was working. Then he finally said to me, What do you want to be when you grow up? I thought about it for a few seconds and then answered, I want to be different. No, seriously, boy, he said. What are you going to do when you're an adult? Seriously, I said, I want to be different which was my indirect, almost polite way of saying, I don't want to be like you. Think back to when you were 14, looking back on all the adults who were in your life. Did you really want to grow up and be just like them? From my own 14-year-old vantage point, so many of the adults I had seen were constantly complaining and whining and moaning and groaning. Why would I want to sign up for that? They were too often miserable, negative, and depressed. And not only that, they were recruiting me to be exactly the same way. This is the way the world works, kid. You gotta pick a side. Pick a color. Pick a religion. Pick a politics. You gotta figure out how to make money. Consume everything. And most importantly, you got to remember to always think only about yourself. At 14 years old, I knew I wanted something different. If only I had been smart enough to hold on to that simple idea. But instead of having the strength and wisdom to become my own best version of myself, I let the times I was living in mold my character. It was a tumultuous time in this country. And the hate that hate made tried to consume me every day. 